Sending. Oh no! Oh no! Hi guys, welcome back to the Autosport TV YouTube channel. This is part two, if you watched the first one, 500 pound road trip car challenge. Today I'm gonna to show you what I got James and Maxwell for their trip to Newquay. And it's a real rare car. It's like one of the rarest cars left. Hold on a minute, wasn't it supposed to be the 2000 mile, 220 million mile of coupe? Okay, right, bit of a story. I sold it. I don't, I don't, I, the person who bought that must have been blind. So basically, yeah, that was going to be their car. It's not no more. A chap from Italy came over and he has taken it off me and he's driven it back to Italy in Siena and he made it there. So that's gone, sorry. Anyway, forget that for now. Maxwell and James has, I've got them a 300 pound Alpha 146 Ti. When was the last time you saw a 146 Ti? And has anybody ever put a 146 Ti on YouTube? Don't look at it like that. Don't. Right, 146 Ti was basically a little bit of a bigger version of the 145 Cloverleaf. It's all the same, just it has a different rear end. And I think it's more sexy at the back. I mean, maybe so, but this one in particular, I mean... Yeah? I'm doing that and paint's coming off. We can... We could do something with the bonnet, make it black or something, or I'll get it painted. But the interior, you haven't seen the interior in this car. No, no. James, bring that camera over. Come and look at the interior of this car. I'm assuming it's going to be black and it's going to be leather because it's alpha. I will say one thing, James. You can bang out some tunes with that speaker. Yeah. I've got all three keys, Clifford Alarm, the service history on this car, the, the service history on this car is amazing. It's had an engine rebuild. It's got a nice power flow stainless steel exhaust. Can I say something though? Can I just butt in? It's got um, some duct tape on the back seat there to hold the seat belt in. And before we yeah. go on, yeah. so it's all well and good having these keys, but where have the keys been for the past week? Inside the car. Which and where's the car been? Outside. <laughs> It's got, it shows that nobody wants to, you know, no one's come near no the garage and not even tried James, to steal it. check this out. Alfa Romeo embroidery Ooh. and the seats. Are you telling me this? Like, the I interior does look nice. I'd love to be in this car going to Newquay. I'll be honest, I'm quite happy that, because I feel like we've driven a lot of coupes and that kind of thing, so yeah. I'm quite happy that we're driving something a little bit different down there. So I, I was originally upset that I'm not going to be driving a 220,000 mile coupe, but... I'm no, actually quite excited to drive It's got this. a big boot for your camera equipment. It's got yeah. nice seats. It's, I think this will well, be I nice. I think this is actually quite cool. And he, I think it'll be quite comfortable. Yeah. It, the dash does look a little bit basic though, doesn't it? It's... Yes. There is three cooker dials and that is it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> gas mark this is basically, <laughs> we've got the same, we've got the two litre twin spark. Same, it's exactly the same as the 145 Cloverleaf. But it's, the boot is different and it, I think it's sexy. Shall we show the boot, the back end, the yeah, peach? let's have a look at the wang. Come on, let's, let's, let's have a look oh, at the exterior. Test yeah. the back seats. The back seats. Are they good? There's a lot of moss Sorry, in James, there. you're not getting in this side. <laughs> Why does this door not Doesn't. Work? Can you open the window? Ah. ah, it was locked. Central locking works then. You need a professional Italian to open it. <laughs> oh, someone's gaffer taped. That's fine. Oh, well. To be honest though, the interior condition is very good. It is, isn't it? It's actually insane. 300 now. quid. So okay, where did you get this from? Where? Mm. I don't know, I never I went to... Found it, stole it. What area is it from? Bradford. Don't know, it was on Market Facebook. So from Birmingham, probably been lifted by someone. It wasn't Birmingham, it was down south somewhere. 100% Birmingham. So it's I'd... been sat, it's been sat so since So if it's COVID. down south, that means it's going to be absolutely soft underneath. Probably. probably. Well, we'll have a look. So but look at this rear end. You're telling me that's not... I like... That's pretty. I think it does look cool from the back. It's, it's got kind of GTV vibes to it. GT, mm. Yeah, GTV. Is it GTV? Another thing is when I bought it, it was a non-runner. Now, my good mechanic, Maxwell, said to me, oh, it's the fuel pump, it's the fuel pump. So I took his word that it'd be the fuel pump. So what did I do? I spent ages getting the fuel pump out so I could like test it out, 
you know, put it on the bench, put some power to it, fuel pump was working. And I was like, bloody hell, I've just taken this fuel pump out when I didn't have to. So that kind of annoyed me. Thank you, Maxwell. You would not believe in a million years what it was, why it was a non-runner. And it's the most stupidest thing ever. Well, I probably can imagine, but... Spaghetti in the intake? No. It had no fuel. Oh, my God. Yeah. It had no fuel. And um, put some fuel in it and it started up. It ran, it ran really bad. So what I did was I had a set of injectors on the shelf and I swapped the injectors over and she runs really sweet now. She's got a dead battery, but we're going to start it up so you can hear it. Yeah, JP, stay there. So look, it's got a nice I mean, exhaust. James, James, um, hopefully it doesn't rain. I've never seen yeah, I think we might a, wipe, a wiper. Look, come around this side, come around this side. Like a chunk of it is missing. It is rotten oh, all. Look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> <I don't, right. laughs> if it's like that it's on top, I wonder what it's like underneath. Right. <laughs> it's, not it just. it's not smoking. It's a nice car, isn't it? it sounds good. And Your it hasn't James, it hasn't even got the horrible variator noise. It's all been done, I'll show you the history on the car. It's had a complete engine rebuild, this thing. Nice. Give so it a rev. Give it a rev. Give it a rev. I mean, it makes some interesting noises. noises. It's got it's the map on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, pop and bang map. <laughs> it's the fucked map. Yeah. As in <laughs> something, something's, not, yeah, something's not fueled him right and it's gonna go bang. Guys, this car's not been driven for donks, so I say let's we put it on the ramp, inspect it, put tray plates on it, and we'll take it for a road test down that private road that we always go down. In Mexico, that one? Yeah, the Mexico. The Mexican road. Yeah. Hopefully the cartel don't stop. Can you do me a favour? Can you scratch my back? I've got an itch. There, Rub in the middle. Put your back up against the wall, like a normal like person. A Just yeah. scratch it. Itch yourself like a bear, Anthony. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's put it on the ramp. I'm scared to see what we're going to see underneath. I want to see the car fold in half like an absolute I'm going to bring it taco. in. Right. Oh, my God. Mm, I hope you like the suspension. It is with stand in it. Yeah, it is solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it gone? No, no, no gone. you're alright. JP just... was just shanking it and hoping it would break. Yeah, it's hoping. Go on. Go on. Sending. Oh no! Oh no! Still sending? No. Are we, are we gone through car? Yeah. Push the button, JP. Are we just going up, are we? I don't know if it's safe. But what do we want to find out? Oh my God. So yes, folks, that's a short episode and uh, we see we buy another stack of shit. And on that note, um, I feel like I need to wear a helmet underneath here. It's well done. I'm more concerned. I know the body works crap, but I'm concerned about that. Or the brake pipe. Unless you're not concerned about James's safety, then we will leave it and we'll just put some Vaseline. <laughs> we'll put some Vaseline over it and be done with it. Um, I'm concerned about James's safety. <laughs> Same caliber as a coupe. We need that. Is that box there? It's also had boy? clearly filler. Look. What is this? Is this filler? Oh, no. Is that filler? Uh, it's a rubbery substance. No, that's all right. It's this section here then, this jacking point. Uh, we need to well, weld that. It's just a jacking point. It's this jacking point off. 
had welding here, that's all solid, that's all good, what's this side saying? That looks all right to be fair. That's all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. It's had welding there. Um, what? Nothing, just... No, that's <coughs> the surface, isn't it? That's all right. The rad mount, oh yeah, don't touch that. So basically we have to just drive it very carefully. Oh, I hate to try and get the gearbox off I me. Mean, look at the state of that bolt. I say we do the brake lines. Brake lines need to be done. Yeah. Yeah. Brake lines have to be done, unfortunately. New discs and pads, brake lines. Unless you want a lawsuit in regards to your cameraman being absolutely annihilated <laughs> because of lack of braking. <laughs> I say <laughs> brake lines, discs and pads, and some new tread. What's the, what's the crash rating on this? How many stars is it? Do we know? Zero. NCAP safety rating. Yes. But zero. Actually, it's not bad because I was expecting all this. I was expecting the seals to be absolutely all gone. screwed, but here, all if gone. that's just the only bit, yeah. and this bit's a bit questionable, <laughs> then what is this? That is once what was an exhaust hanger and is now an elastic band. <laughs> been, have you noticed that these tyres, that the, the grip has been filled in with cobwebs? Mm. Have you also noticed that this alloy has an almighty chunk missing? Oh, wow. It. That is juicy. That is Polyfiller, sort that out. Curved hard. Get it? I said don't poke that for the obvious reason that your rad is about to fall out from the beginning. No, it's not. It's all right. It's beautiful. It looks like a rat has been chewing at it. Look. It's... I like it. Just cover half your eye, yeah? So as you can see, JP, it's cleaning up quite nicely. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Most of that is flicking at me. There you go. Brand new. Kind of. Oh, missed a bit. Yeah, and quite a lot of other bits. It's not I'm gone through. We're good. <laughs> oh, it's actually got stitches in it. Yeah, it's got drift stitches. Well, I'll bring it down. No, no, no. Drift car. <laughs> Shall we find out? Do we believe in the four leaf clover? Um, yeah. What? It's good. There on the dipstick, like yeah. literally on the nip. So it needs Where? a top up. It's it, nothing in it. All right. It needs top up. Well, top up. It, 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 it. Oh. What? Ooh. Yeah, that's. They all do that because it's not, it's not been ran. Ooh. I had the fans kick in everything. Oh, Lord. It's to be fair, it isn't Ali see. Head, so Ali Head's not... Mm, nice. The milkman cover. <laughs> Look at the state of the belts. Brand new. Brand new. Second hand. <laughs> Brand new, just been set for many years, so very brittle. Look, looks good. In fact, this is going to be the new company car. The lease car for everybody. Oh, uh, yes. The courtesy car. The courtesy car. Yeah. Yeah, because to be fair, you are making a courtesy car. Huh? This could be it. I think pads. JP's given it an all change already. <laughs> Didn't even need to drain it. Yep. See, self draining. Yep. See, Alpha really knew what they were doing. Self draining oil. Yeah. Someone decided to cut. This. Why, why would they do such a thing? Cowboys. Yeah. Cowboy Some antics. Breakfast. What the fuck is that? Are going? you taking it all out again? No, but how am I going to put that over that when you've got pipe work that's going into it? I see. He's got ginger anger problems. He's got roid rage. <laughs> Too but it's going to have to come out because I can't get this in with... Yeah, you, you'll figure it out. My eye stings, though. Is 
that? Another pop and bag, man. Try not to destroy my car before I even get to take it anywhere. We've driven a lot worse, haven't we? Yes. Debatable. Huh? Test the brakes, My seatbelt does not. My seatbelt doesn't seatbelt. Oh, you got it in the wrong one. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> it's at the glove box. Glove box has just like thrown itself at me. Goodies? Do we even know if the wheels are tight? No. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't like the feeling of that. I mean, I ain't surprised, because you've got one alloy that's got a nice bike-sized chunk out of it. It does have a huge Ooh. chunk missing. I do not like the feel of this car. <laughs> Great. So are we saying the bushes are screwed? No, not bushes. Just something to do with these tyres and wheels. Don't well, they're probably brittle as... Noise. Don't feel safe, man. I mean, do we know what air pressure's in these tyres? No. We didn't no, check. No, we just got in it. We just got in it, we've just driven it, we just YOLO'd it. Right, have to... If this glove box open one more time, I'm ripping it off. We're gonna screw it shut. I'm gonna do a brake. Don't do that. I'm gonna do a brake test. Brace for impact. Glove box open. I did need to brace a lot, I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel like. These alloys, it feels like you're riding on rim this side. Yeah, I think it needs the originals. It does not feel good with those wheels on it. So does it go straight if you let go? Well, it's not too well, bad. on the bends, not bad. Yeah, but the steering wheel would normally no. pull itself somewhere. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. What? Oh, shit. All right, <laughs> tell a lie. As soon as you hit some sort of a uh, rut. It's so the wheels. Clutch pedal feels kind of stiff. But I think that's because it's been sat. Are these? But the more I use it, the more it frees up. Are they hydraulic or cable? You look comfortable it's back there. Very comfortable back here. It's hydraulic. Right. This is great. And sit in every goddamn pothole we can at the minute. Yeah. You know you you are able to go down a gear. I feel lazy. <laughs> Honestly, the headrest back here is like a pillow. It's really <laughs> soft. As we're going faster, I am feeling very, very slight wheel wobble. We're doing 50. And when I say slight, yeah. my foot is shaking. It could be a buckled wheel, isn't it? To be fair, one of the wheels has a big chunk missing out. Someone has eaten it. Yeah, it looks like someone's taken a Pac-Man's out of nibble on it. This, don't go crazy with it. It does not feel safe, but it's actually nice back here. Yeah, I told you. There's loads of room. It's really comfy in the back. Right, so let's see how the car that I have to drive. What? How, wait, how many miles is it to Nuki from here? Has someone been pissed off? I think someone's been pissed off with the selection of music in this in one point. Because why is the grill for the speaker dented? Yeah, it looks like somebody's punched it. Ooh, I might have to take a picture of that and just. Yeah. It's got pops and bangs. That not sure. Why. Not sure why. <coughs> but I mean, it, does. it bangs a fair bit. Like the freaking pipe banged off. Feel the brakes before you put your foot down. Feel the brakes. Does it stop? Oh, it's not. That's all right. They're getting better, aren't they? Yeah. They've just they not been used for seven seven years. This hasn't been on the road for. That's a long time. Oh. I really like the back here. It's comfy, isn't it? And put your head on the headrest and tell me that's not the comfiest cushion oh, in the world. I wouldn't have a nap. I'll jump. It's in like the British car. Airways. I will jump in this for a nap. This car is literally massaging my feet right now. It is a little bit. It's actually the steering's not too bad. Does it grip all right? Go on, send it. Yeah. I mean, I was a little bit Uneventful. scared. I was a bit scared to send it too hard because I didn't want, want the wheels to fall off, but no, it's okay. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, I think the wheels need balancing. And um, Okay, now I'm terrified. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's okay. For 300 quid. It's really um, back here. Yes, the exhaust is a bit intrusive, let's say. I wonder how many holes that's got. Probably quite a lot. We've got zero baffles I in it. I think it's just not been driven for a very long time and it needs a good old Italian tune-up. Good old sending. 
I think if you drove this back and forward every day for like a week, it would probably be all right. Well, because if, if it blows up now... We haven't got to push it far. Yeah, I was going to say, if, if it can't survive one thrashing, how's it going to go all the way to Newquay? Plus, we're going to be taking it on a track day when we get there, aren't we? <laughs> it does pull itself around the road a little bit on the on the bumps. It's kind of a little bit like... Do you think that could be the low profile type? Possibly. And the glove box keeps opening by itself. Smacking there's a, there's me a, the there's a goddamn ghost, shins. There's a ghost in the glove box. Yeah, also, the engine doesn't yeah, really... Yeah, slow down, this is a big... Oh, yeah, bumpy big bit. Bump. Oh, God, those brakes are terrible. The engine doesn't really do a lot until three, three, four thousand RPM, does it? And then it kind of... Wouldn't take it that high. <laughs> it, yeah. It redlines at 7,000, and we are very much up to temperature. If there was ever a time, it's had new oil. <laughs> if there's ever a time to send it, it is now. <laughs> oh, Christ. Yeah, I think the brakes definitely need attending to, uh, and the wheels probably need either replacing or at least balancing. Well, those that, tires have been sat for seven years; they're going to be brittle. Yeah, as exactly. Any, yeah. I, I, got flat spots. I would probably just replace the tires, yes. replace the brakes. But other than that, it's actually not that bad. I think this would make it to Newquay as long as one of the Jubilee clips doesn't rot away. Oh. Do the indicators work? Yes, probably. Oh god, yeah, those brakes are really bad. I was proper stamping on the pedal and just not slowing down Is at it all. It's breaking a straight line, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't think it doesn't pull itself across the road when you brake. Just when you hit bumps and stuff, it's a little bit like. So, let's conclude today up. Do you think you'll make it to Nuki in this? No. 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 What I'll do for you is before we go. The car will get a once over, new discs, pads, we'll change brake lines. Mm. I'll weld up that bit on the back and new wiper blades for you. Yes, because this one, yeah, it's terrible. as JP showed you earlier. And then what I will do good. is I'll give it a couple runs home to work, home to work. Ah, uh, it will be fine. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? We fix it on the side of the road. Can we get a load of clover leaf stickers for it? Because they're going to need all the luck they can get. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or just do this. The whole way. It's right, Maxwell's a good mechanic. We'll fill the boot up with tools. It's a big enough boot. Exactly. And uh, we'll be okay. So guys, you can watch... When are we going to film this? We're going to go in about May time. Well, yeah, I mean, as soon as the weather's not so yeah. miserable. Uh, but we want to do it quickly, because otherwise you'll sell the car. <laughs> I know what you're like. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> in my way. <laughs> we'll turn up I'd like week. to go It'll to New gone. Key with nice weather. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, but I don't think we could be too fussy because it is still it's England. England. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we could go surfing. Are we going to go surfing? Boggable. What's it called? You know, it's a boggin. Oh no! No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 bodyboarding. Bodyboarding. No, we've got to go surfing. Like get on. A, I'll do. Yeah. I reckon I can't jet skis. Surf. No, neither can I. That's why it'd be funny. Okay, fine. <laughs> I reckon we get. I reckon we should get some from jet skis. Ooh, I do like a jet ski. So that's never what been we're doing one. as no, a road trip this year. Coop against the Alpha. It should be fun. Honestly, I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be certainly the more luxurious car to go in. Yeah. Because it's quite comfortable. Except for ours, it's got more chance to get in there. Yeah. You say that. Well, yeah, but... I reckon, I reckon we're going to blur a boost pipe. I reckon two old Italian cars going on a long journey. Something's likely to go wrong. Well, uh, tune in and find crossed, out. Fingers crossed we can fix it by the side of the road. Yeah, yeah but look at, uh, look at Alex's Alpha. That got up there with a stretched chain. That did. Yeah, it did. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it got back yet, because that video hasn't been released yet, <laughs> but we know it got there. Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah. Okay, right, let's finish it up. Thank you guys for watching. 75% of you watch, but don't subscribe. Why? Just push that button. We're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to make them subscribe, isn't it? Yeah. If you don't subscribe, we will find you, and we Thank uh, you guys for watching. Hit that like, the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully Bye. warmer bloody weather. Yeah. It's getting better. It is getting better, slowly. So we've got extra downforce, so we'll be fine. Extra downforce for that, and look, even rust accumulating on top of the spoiler. <laughs> I don't know how that's gone. <laughs>